Greetings out there, everyone on YouTube land. This is the third take on trying to make this video, um, because the first two times were too long. Anyway, this is a guide on how to record videos and make friends by recording videos and uploading them to YouTube by Cyber34 or Fiber34 if you prefer the channel name, but we all know I'm Cyber34. Anyway, the I'm going to explain today how to record videos off your computer. There's a few ways of recording videos of stuff, like of gameplay or like how you Photoshop stuff or whatever you want to record on your computer screen. One easy way to do it, I think the easiest way, would be a screen recorder, as I'm using right now. As you can see, this screen recorder I happen to have right now is following my mouse around. I can move around, and it just follows my mouse, as so. Such, rather. So, what screen recorder I'm using right now is called Hypercam. Or Hypercam 2, as it says, because I think it's just the version name. Anyway, Hypercam, it just records what's on your screen. And uh, that's basically it. You can have an emulator on your screen. You can have a program. You can have an MSN chat window if you want to record a chat window chat because that makes sense. Um, another way to do it would be Fraps, which is this handy little game recorder thing. It's specifically made for game recording. However, the problem with it is that it only records stuff running DirectX, which not everything does, but it does it a lot well, better. Anyway, this is Hypercam. If you want to say record pretty much anything, what you do is you take your emulator or whatever, um, the emulator, of course, being a program that runs old, uh, it emulates, it attempts your, for your computer to run as if it was a Game Boy Advance or an SNES um, console machine. And what you do is you, you know, file, open quick ROM, and what you do here is take some ROM dumping equipment, which is actual hardware you have to buy, and get your own cards and dump a ROM. You'll end up with a ROM, which probably end in a GBA file for GBA games. You take it, and now you have the game running in a window. This is basically a Game Boy Advance. And, uh, you know, you basically play it just like a game, a real Game Boy Advance game. Also, you can do cheats and other stuff, but anyway, the point is, you have it on your screen, and you can record it with a screen reader. The reason you see a counter up here is because I have Fraps running. That's the Fraps counter. It's yellow right now, telling me that it's running in 30 FPS. That the game is running at 30 FPS. I can hit the recording button, and now it's recording at 30 FPS. It's recording at a much, much higher quality than stupid Hypercam is. And it's only recording specifically just the game window. Nothing else, I don't really have to even set it up. But it's also recording um, in super high quality, which it might be better for other things. Anyway, what you do in Hypercam to record stuff is you hit the select window button, you then go to whatever emulator, whatever you want to record, and just bounce over it and then click. There should be a rectangle that usually surrounds it. You can just click and it'll just select that. It'll then fill in these with the numbers needed for it to... Uh, record that part of your screen. Then, don't move that window. If you move it, then what will happen is your screen will be recording right here, and, uh, you know, your emulator will be right here. So, you only get, like, half the emulator, which is really bad, because, you know, if you want to do an LP, you want to see the full screen, don't you? I have it currently set, right here, a little way, just Control-Shift-Z, if I press Control-Shift-Z and Z at the same time, it then follows my mouse around. It's actually just helpful for recording this guide video. Um, the main thing you want to remember, though, when you're using Hypercam is what encoding you want to do. Make sure it's running 30 FPS and 30 playback, because that's just smooth enough for people to care about. Right now, since this is a guide video of me, like Windows, 20 is fine. Anyway, um, what you do is you'd go online and download FFD Show. You probably already have it if you watch anime or whatnot. Um, it comes with a lot of other codec packs. Just look it up, download the encoder. Uh, so what you'd have is a window like this. You can use other stuff too. I just have like the normal XVID encoder right here. I can configure and there's there's my XVID configuration thingy. I can do there are other stuff too. But anyway, FFD show set to doing XVID. As you can see, XVID here does a few other stuff too, and XVID here. The main point we need to care what we care about is the bitrate. For Fraps, there's no setting. It records at lossless video, which is really high quality. But then when you edit it together, it's really you don't have it's just much better looking at the end because you don't have to re-encode it twice. Um, for stuff like this, like Game Boy Advance size, Super SNES, SNES size, uh, GBA, I already said G repeating myself, Genesis, around 600, 650 is good at by the end product, but what you can do with Hypercam is you can just record 10 minute segments and record it at like 600 or 650 and then just upload those, you're done, just upload them, you don't have to do anything else afterwards, but if you're like me and recording in 10 minute segments is lame, you think, that, like me, um, and record maybe two minutes here, half an hour here, five hours here. What you do is record in a much higher quality, 1,000, 1,500, something like that. 
And you'll then have really big videos on saved to your hard drive. These big videos, like you would with Fraps, have to then be encoded in something else. I also don't happen to encode them in Xvid with a program called Virtual Dub. It allows me to edit videos, edit them together to do stuff. For example, you see the game running. Is you know here's the video of me playing you know Mega Man Battle Network 2. Yes, I'm doing Mega Man Battle Network 2 and then 3 and then 4 and 5 and 6 probably. What you have to do though is you know video compression and then just choose FFD show again and who keeps kicking a highlight on RC and making that noise? Damn it! And just choose a lower bit rate and uh, just have it set up to be like 600 afterwards after the big raw footage from Fraps or the bigger uh, footage. That make sure though to uh to cut it up in 10 minute segments because YouTube only takes 10 minute segments. So as you can see, this video right here is like 20 minutes long. Well, 1955. So what we do is we find a point. You'd find like whenever you wanted to pause, you go like edit, select start, then go to the end, edit, oops, edit selection end, and see I have this currently selected. This is the nine minutes I don't care about. Edit cut. What I now have is. 10 minutes, well, 10 minutes and 12 seconds, it's fine, as long as you don't hit 11 minutes. And go, uh, you know, we already set our video. You know, it's already at, let's pretend it's at 650, because that's what we want it to be. Just pretend it's at that. Um, also, make sure to have some audio compression, because uncompressed audio gets really big. Audio, full processing mode, then audio compression. Download Lame MP3, it's very good. Uh, make sure it's at 44 kilohertz, 24 kilobits, CBR mono. Um, if your stuff's not mono, then go conversion. Set it up to be mono, right here. Also, you can increase the volume. You can do a lot of stuff with Virtual Dub. Um, after all that's done, you go Save AVI. If you have multiple parts that you need to encode, like from Hypercam, you go File, Append AVI, you do that first. Then just select the second video, then the third, then the fourth. Or if they're all numbered properly, and they all, like, Hypercam numbers them correctly, you just click on this little thing right here. And then when you click Select the second video, it should append all of them in order. So you have, like, a seven-hour timeline. Anyway, after you get 10-minute segments, you save those, and then you have a bunch of files, which are the 10-minute segments, which you upload those to YouTube. Um, one thing, though, I forgot to yeah, forgot to mention, but I wanted to mention now. The way you use Fraps is just set an overlay corner. For example, you know, just you can change it from up left, up right, whatever. That's just so you can see the FPS, uh, so you know you're, when you're recording. Um, make sure to record at the full size, because half size is bad if it's already this small of a window. And 30 FPS. It's important to record stuff at 30 because um, any more YouTube doesn't matter. YouTube gives you stuff at 30 FPS. If you're recording with Fraps, um, if you want to get what your microphone is, if you want to talk while recording game footage, you want to use use Windows Sound Output. It's probably already set to mic input, and if it's not set to mic volume, you go into Windows and set it to mic volume. If you want stereo mix, just set it to stereo mix inside of Windows, or just use Detect Best Sound Input. It'll hit stereo mix. That'll just be game audio. If you want both, like I do in my LPs. You just gotta play the sound over the speaker while you're talking to a microphone. Um, also, make sure record sounds checked in. Again, Fraps gives you a big, almost raw, it's losslessly compressed video. You edit that in virtual up to 10 minute segments. Hyperkill, you wanna record in either 10 segments that are small, well, are already well compressed, upload those, or upload, record them in big, higher quality, then edit it out to be in lower quality. Um, make sure sounds at the 44 kilohertz, make sure record sounds on at 16 bit. Anyway, remember, 30, 30, you want 30 frames per second. That's what's good. If your computer's lagging when you're recording, you either have some stuff not correctly set, or your computer just isn't strong enough to handle running the game you're recording and your recording software at the same time. Fraps tends to do a better job of that, but of course, Fraps only records stuff that's using DirectX. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I'm Cyber34. Peace out.